Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. We've got a fun topic for this video from DailyHodl.com. XRP may be poised to decouple from Bitcoin, says crypto market analysis firm. Now, from my humble perspective here, this is an inevitability. It's going to happen at some point. I'm just not going to predict when because... A lot of it has to do with the maturation of the entire asset class and people's willingness to do research and parse of the differences between coins, which I think will be accelerated as more institutional firms come into the space and actually invest in a meaningful way. I think that'll expedite it in a notable fashion. But in the meantime, here we are mid-2020, and undeniable truth of life, XRP is just following the price action of Bitcoin, but again... With this analysis firm stating that it's poised to decouple, it certainly caught my attention. So we're going to run through this, uh, do a small amount of FUD busting uh, to get things rolling here. But before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I would certainly appreciate it. It's good for the algorithm on the YouTubes. Um, so uh, if you're willing to do that, like a virtual high five, all right? And also, um, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel because if you do not... After you go to sleep tonight, a monster from beneath your bed will grab you, pull you underneath the bed, and eat you. You don't want none of that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So go ahead and subscribe. All right, let's dive in now. XRP again may be poised to decouple from Bitcoin, says crypto market analysis firm. XRP may be gearing up to decouple from Bitcoin, according to the crypto intelligence company Santiment. The firm says the fourth largest cryptocurrency is at the top of their radar after it printed major upticks in its social metrics. And here's a quote. XRP has entered the top spot on Santiment Feed's emerging trends and has seen massive social volume spikes. These are potential indicators of an upcoming decoupling from Bitcoin. So keep an eye on Ripple's upside since these spikes aren't pump related yet. Um, and now, also, here's another thing to add on to this, <coughs> excuse me, in fairness, is even if it appears to be decoupling, is are you talking about a permanent decoupling? Because there are certainly periods of times where, uh, where XRP is certainly more or less correlated to the price action of Bitcoin that actually... That is like a that's actually a metric that does vary, and I'm gonna end, I'm gonna show you something in just a moment to to give you a, a little idea of exactly uh, what I'm talking about here. But first, we gotta delve a little further into this piece because I gotta bust a teeny weensy bits of fud here, which is always a fun thing to do. So the piece continues. However, two widely followed technical traders are not on the same page and believe the extended bear market of the XRP slash BTC pair market is far from over. Trader Cheds tells his 78,000 Twitter followers that XRP slash BTC is forming a bearish pattern that sets the stage for another leg down. Crypto analyst Ethereum Jack seconds Cheds' bearish tone. The trader says unless XRP slash BTC shows signs of life, it is poised to lose half of its value. And here's a quote. I will trade XRP versus Bitcoin when it shows strength. Any weekly close above green, and I'm interested. Until then, who knows what can happen? Currently down 91% since all-time high, but has seen 95% drops before, which is close to another 50% drop down move slow. And then, the piece continues further. Check this out, because we're about to bust some foot up in this biatch. Meanwhile, Florent Mullen, a researcher at the crypto metrics platform Masari, please never, ever, ever go to Masari for facts about XRP. Just, just, just don't do it. But anyway, Masari says XRP's inflation rate may be tied to its poor performance over the past year and a half. He says the coin's rate of inflation is currently among highest of the large cap coins. And here's a quote. XRP circulating supply inflation rate, 20%, is the highest among large cap assets over the past uh, past year and five times higher than Bitcoin pre-having. Only 30% of XRP max supply has been distributed versus 87.5% for Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is up 20% since last year. XRP is down 47%. So let's take a look at this. So here's the tweet that it came from, from uh, Florent Mullen, which just cited those facts that uh, I shared with you there. Now, luckily, 
um, XRP community member Galgatron went ahead and jumped in and responded to this. And here's what he wrote. So listen up here. Cherry picked meaningless BS data as usual. And then he tagged Masari Crypto on Twitter. And he wrote, if you want to talk inflation, Bitcoin had more than 50% of its coins in circulation in its first three years. XRP isn't even at 45% in circulation after eight years. And then he tagged Tyler Winklevoss and wrote, Tyler Winklevoss, pain? You paying you jokers? <laughs> Which I think is fun. And if you don't get the context of that, it has to do with a troll that uh, Galgatron totally got away with on Tyler Winklevoss. But I won't delve into that any bit. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I won't delve into that further in this particular video. I talked about that just yesterday. So, yeah, it, it's all, it's, it's just, this is what you see. If somebody wants to have a particular narrative, you can paint whatever picture you want. You can manipulate data to look like whatever it is you want it to look like. And that's why I only like to engage with people that are intellectually honest with the public. Now, sometimes it's the case that people are just in, um, ignorant, and I can accept that if they just don't know any better and they, they write something that they um, they think is true. Okay, that's fine. As long as you acknowledge it and you know maybe correct the record, I got no beef with that. None of us are perfect. I'm sure I you know I'm sure I get stuff wrong from time to time, and unless somebody points it out, maybe I never even find out. Sometimes I find out I have stuff wrong and change my opinion later on. You know, it's perfectly normal. That's just part of what it is to be a human here. I just don't like it when people paint these stupid narratives because they have ideology that drives them to do so. To me, that's disgusting and repulsive, and it makes me not want to engage with those types of people. But I'm happy to call it out nonetheless. Now take a look at this. Here's a piece from AMB Crypto on the topic of decoupling. And this one was from a couple days ago, June 5th. And it's titled, XRP takes the top spot in current emerging trends. And I want to cover a small part of it because they were talking about um, XRP being um, coupled with Bitcoin and uh, kind of a high correlation. Take a look at this. Coinmetrics correlation index between XRP and Bitcoin has rarely changed since April 10th, 2020. And at the time of writing this article, the correlation index was 0.82, with number one being the high. So it's at 0.82 out of one, meaning highly correlated to Bitcoin over that time period. And that's part of the reason I wanted to at least just highlight just this very small bit here, just to illustrate the point, because I've reported in the past when over a different time period, XRP was much less correlated. And I don't remember the number off the top of my head, so if I said it, I'd, I'd kind of be making it up. But I, I don't know if it was, it may have been point three or four I, i'd have to go back and research it i honestly don't know but the point is it was substantially lower than what it is now and so this metric varies and that is worth knowing that's why i keep sharing with you guys if you just look at a freaking chart over the last decade and i know xrp wasn't there the whole time but you can see with your freaking eyeballs that absolutely without question xrp has been on the whole following bitcoin this is an indisputable fact of life then they write, uh, for XRP to break away from Bitcoin, um, it would need to facilitate a steady price pump and not undergo strong corrections when the largest digital asset makes its move. Um, Ethereum has managed well since the start of May, um, outperforming Bitcoin at certain intervals. Uh, now, it is important to note that XRP and Ether's functionality and general utilization are drastically different. Well, yeah, that's an understatement. Uh, completely different use cases. It, uh, developers building on top of these platforms going for completely uh, different use cases. There's, there's almost no crossover, in fact, other than, I guess you could state that um, XRP utilized for, for gaming, there's a little bit of that, but just with the nature of w what Ethereum is and uh, you know, the, the whole concept of smart contracts, that's, that's not something that XRP was built to do, which is also why I always say, there will no be it will not be one coin to rule them all. Okay, different strokes for different folks, my friends. But then, the, so anyway, they write. Um, so they write uh, as a result of the, the differences in functionality here. Um, they write, hence it is more difficult for XRP to break away, and they're talking about in terms of price action. And then they use the word hence again, which they shouldn't do because it just doesn't flow well. That's my opinion. But they use hence in two sentences in a row. So it says hence. It will be interesting to observe XRP's movement over the next few weeks to witness whether the social volume fizzles or whether the asset is able to take advantage. And so, uh, yeah, I guess the worst part of the article is using the word hence uh, two sentences in a row. I'll tell you what, that really steams my vegetables. Unacceptable! Do better with words. 
But that is it for this video. Uh, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by. I can't tell you how much I very genuinely appreciate all the support. You guys are purely awesome. XRP community for life. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.